Hi, and welcome to the DrowPros video on sizing a mill. Today's video shows you how to properly measure mill's travel so you can choose the right size magnetic scales for your digital readout kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this and see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll demonstrate by taking a look at a very popular benchtop mill. Now, the table moves in two different directions, front to back and also side to side. The side to side movement is known as the x-axis, while the front to back movement is known as the y-axis. We'll first start by measuring the x-axis or the side to side movement. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start by moving the table to the far left stop. And then we'll make a mark between the table and the saddle. Next, we'll move the table to the far right side stop. And we can see the total x-axis travel is around 13 and a half inches. Now, for the y-axis travel, we first need to run the table all the way to the front. And now we make a mark between the saddle and the base of the machine. And next, we move the table all the way to the back of the machine, and then, just like before, we'll measure between the two split marks. And it looks like we've got a y-axis travel just short of about five and three-quarter inches. So to summarize, we need a mill kit that has travels of at least five and three-quarter inches on the y-axis and 13 and a half inches for the x-axis. So for this specific mill, if I go to www.dropros.com, I can see that the smallest magnetic mill kit that DroPros currently offers is a 10 by 20 inch mill kit. And that's fine, because if we have to, we can easily shorten or cut the magnetic scales to exactly the length we need. Remember, with magnetic kits, all we really need to be concerned about is that the travels of the kit exceed the travels of our machine. Well, that concludes our video for how to measure your mill's travel for magnetic scales. It's easy to do. I've shown you how to do it, and now you can do it too.